all eyes are on how we speed up COVID vaccinations, but some people say they don't want to get the shot, and that includes some healthcare workers. Lex Liaco is asking why they're hesitant. The vaccine rollout is on. Doctors and nurses are lining up for the shot, but not all healthcare workers are on board. Heart surgeon Stephen Noble is one of them. I choose for my family and I to wait to get the vaccine. His decision months in the making. I listened to the, the CDC, the FDA. I sat in on those virtual conferences. But his lingering questions outweighed any answers he could find. We don't know what how this vaccine is going to affect us. He worries data from some trials may not be complete. The trial uh, in and of itself was supposed to be a two-year trial. There's the experience of being a researcher, being uh, having to spend time in the lab. You understand that there's what we do in, in, in the lab or in the trial, in the study, and what we do in real life. Despite Dr. Noble's concerns, Moderna's trial showed its vaccine was 94% effective and Pfizer's vaccine was 95% effective in preventing COVID-19. Dr. Anthony Fauci received the Moderna vaccine himself. He told Americans the protection from the shot could be life-saving for millions. But for Noble, who is part of a group providing healthcare resources and information to minority communities, he believes there's no way to tell now if the vaccine rollout will be as successful successful as the trials. When you have a trial, everything is so controlled. Getting the shot on day zero, then getting another shot on day 21, day 28. But in real life, it's very difficult for everyone to come in on that specific time at that specific date. He believes if the majority of the country isn't vaccinated properly, it isn't worth taking the risk. And if we can't deliver the vaccine in the same exact way that the trial was done, you know, are we doing, you know, good medicine? Other healthcare professionals have similar questions. A recent study by the Kaiser Family Foundation found nearly one in three frontline healthcare workers was not getting the vaccine right away, a higher percentage than the general public. The main concerns were possible side effects, the speed of the vaccine becoming available, and distrust in vaccines and the healthcare system. The hesitancy isn't in the vaccine, but it's the system in which this vaccine was created. It's a system that has uh, perpetuated healthcare disparities, racial discrimination, and all these other things. And so now at this 11th hour, as we're in overtime, you know, the ask of, you know, the community to trust and, and, and to dive in can be difficult. Pump the blood through the rest of the body. Dr. Noble says trust is a big factor in getting communities of color to take the vaccine, whether they're frontline workers or not. It becomes especially important when many of the trials involved more white participants. The demographic that is really hurting the most, we're not seeing represented in, you know, in the science. Still, Noble says he believes the vaccine will work, even if he needs more data to accept the science. Well, I've never been in doubt of the vaccine working, but because they work in the lab doesn't mean they're going to work the same way in real life. Going forward, we need to do the things that we know that work. Masking up, hand hygiene and social distancing. He hopes each member of the community will make their choice to get vaccinated based on their own health, remembering that even with the shot, COVID-19 is still a threat. For The Race, I'm Alexa Liaco. Thank you for joining us this week as we take a look at healthcare in America. Join us next week. We're taking an in-depth look at education including how the pandemic is impacting students and unique ways districts are finding more money for teachers. Until then, from Alpena, Michigan, I'm Chris Stewart, and this is The Race.